Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of December, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Weather stays a little wet at times today, but big changes coming up next week as everything starts to change and we get it back into colder air. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the sky cam shots around the network. These were captured uh, early this morning at 5 a.m. That's our Tuscaloosa sky cam, and they picked up over a half inch of rain. They've had uh, some of the better rains. In fact, our sky watcher in Coker, which is west of Tuscaloosa, uh, has gone well over one inch of rain, which is more than we bargained for with this thing, but most places have seen light amounts. That's our sky cam in downtown Jasper, where they've got a little light rain falling, and we'll go way down south. That's our sky cam at Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. That's a pretty strong impulse over uh, Louisiana and around Baton Rouge, and uh, that is uh, producing inclement weather across the state today. There's the radar that was captured at 458 And you can see these patches of light rain, mainly north of Interstate 20. And we'll kind of keep that in the forecast today. Just some light rain at times, nothing especially heavy. No severe weather and probably no thunder. Hey, look at those numbers coming down up north. Up on the uh, Minnesota border with Canada, it's around zero this morning near International Falls. And uh, that cold front is stalled out north of us. You can see how it's just stopped Uh, really around uh, the northwestern corner of Alabama. And it's not going to move any farther south because it is now parallel to the upper air winds. Uh, It's going to take a stronger system early next week to get that cold air to drop south. Uh, Again, severe weather not happening today. That's the day one convective outlook. And the watch warning map, very quiet. Thank goodness. Uh, We get that big thermal contrast. You can't have severe weather issues, but uh, not today. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, and this is showing light amounts across the state, a quarter to a half inch. And uh, keep in mind, this counts the rain we had starting at 6 o'clock last night. I think rain will be very light today all the way through the weekend. The better rain event will be just beyond this period on Monday of next week. As you'll see in modeling, this is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. Look at the big upper low that's... Uh, just uh, off the Louisiana coast. And down below that, kind of cloudy-ish and showery today. Highs mid to upper 60s. Additional rain amounts probably a quarter inch or less. Tomorrow, the front dissipates. We stay mild. In fact, both models are now showing 71 tomorrow. Uh, The sun might peak out at times, kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And the chance of a shower is so small, I think we can drop that. Uh, Friday... You know, moisture increases a tad, and there might be an isolated shower somewhere, but it should be mostly dry. And again, uh, evidence of cooler air trying to nose in from the east. Uh, cold air damming, if you will, the wedge. Temperatures might come down a little bit with highs in the mid-60s. And again, for those folks near the Georgia border, they might see a high in the upper 50s on Friday. So I think there'll be a pretty good thermal contrast with cooler air to the east, warmer air to the west. But again, the chance of showers would be small. And that's the deal for Saturday. Could there be a shower? Yes. But again, I think they will be few and far between. Very mild, low 70s. Pretty much the same deal on Sunday. Uh, A shower possible, but not likely. Yeah, we see that cold air beginning to creep south. And look at Monday. All of a sudden, the GFS goes very highly amplified with a very robust trough. And down below that, a cold front at midday is already through here. It's much faster on this run, and cold air is flooding the state. Uh, The 540 line drops below Birmingham's strong north winds. Uh, This would suggest a day where temperatures fall into the 40s on Monday with an icy north wind. Goodness, in, in... Again, this might hint with that dynamic support of some strong storms, maybe even late Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, And then on Tuesday, we're just uh, cold and dry. Tuesday morning would uh, give us a a freeze uh, if this is right with the surface high right on top of us. Now, let's look at the European solution. This is midday Monday. It's a touch slower than the GFS, but pretty similar. Uh, The good news, there's no really deep surface low to back the winds. 
you know, for some kind of a tornado threat. Again, there could be some strong storms with gusty winds, but a major severe weather problem does not seem likely at the moment. And that would suggest Monday would be kind of wet and stormy. And then Tuesday, the 540 line is down to uh, uh, almost Coleman, and that's pretty cold. Uh, Tuesday would be a day with a high, uh, maybe only in the 40s, uh, if this is right, for North Alabama. So uh, we'll kind of roll with the idea of stormy Monday, much colder Monday night and Tuesday. And there's Wednesday of next week. Uh, this is 12, 12, 12. Look at the impulse on the golf. And then the next day on the 13th, that thing brings in some pretty good rain in here. Uh, and, ooh, you know, if we had some cold air, you know what that would bring, but we don't. The, the air warms up and it modifies. That would just be a wet event. And we could use that rain. And that would be, again, Thursday of next week, the uh, 13th. All right, Christmas fans, let's go at the end of the forecast. Yeah, you see that pattern change. Big old ridge pumping up in the west, a, a downstream trough, and look at that cold air. 540 line down to New Orleans and Mobile. Uh-huh. How about some cold air for Christmas? Uh, look at the difference. All right, this is the uh, temperature anomalies today at noon off the GFS. All right, just kind of lock in on that. Now the anomalies for December 20th. That's a pattern reversal. And it's still very cold in Canada and Alaska. So, again, uh, uh, you know, it just looks sharply colder. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how it all plays out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News and the live stream or the television side this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.